the maths behind A4 paper. So what is A4 paper? A4 paper is part of the A series of paper sizes introduced throughout Europe in the early 20th century and now the official document size for the UN and most of its members. A4 is the most commonly used size in the A series and measures 210 millimetres by 297 millimetres or in imperial 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches. But why is this size of paper so interesting? One of the interesting things about the A series is that each size is exactly half the size of the previous one. If we split an A4 sheet in half, we get two sheets of A5. Split this in half, and we get A6, and so on. Furthermore, each size is mathematically similar, i.e. both sides are reduced by the same factor each time. Let's look at how this works. If we take two successive sizes of A paper and label the side lengths of the larger sheet A and B, the next sheet down is this first sheet folded in half, so the old width becomes the new height and the old length is halved to make our new width. The smaller sheet is therefore B tall and A over 2 wide. As these rectangles are mathematically similar, the ratios between width and height must be equal. So we get the longest side on the large rectangle divided by the longest side on the small rectangle is equal to the shortest sides divided by each other. By simplifying this equation, we get that A equals B root 2, i.e. the longer side is root 2 times as big as the shorter side, or roughly 1.41 times as big. We now know the ratio between the side lengths of A series paper, but this doesn't explain why A4 paper is 210mm by 297mm. To work this out we need to look at A0 paper. This is the sheet of paper whose sides are in the ratio 1 to root 2, but which also has an area of exactly 1 square metre. We can work out the side lengths by labelling our A0 rectangle sides B and B root 2. Solving the equation b times b root 2 equals 1 gives us an answer of b equal to 1 over the fourth root of 2. And sides of 841 millimetres and 1189 millimetres. We can now use our a0 dimensions and by halving the longer side each time we'll get progressively through our A series paper sizes. If we carry on doing this we'll get to A4 and the measurements that we set at the beginning of 210mm by 297mm.